wants to fuck the girl he's been friend zoned by. And the girl who is a plate wants a relationship with the guy she's been plated by. The guy in the friend zone gets all of her non-sexual attention, while the plate gets nothing but sexual attention from her fuck buddy. Neither wants to be where they are, and both wants what the other has. Now, the guy can get all of the he can get all of the non-sexual female companionship he wants. That's easy for him. That's easy for men. He doesn't even have to try because girls are always looking for men they can get all the benefits of having a relationship with without actually being in one. In other words, not give it up the pussy. Any given guy in this day and age can be up to his eyeballs in platonic relationships with females. And because of that, non-sexual female companionship isn't really worth much to men. It's the sex he wants from the girl, not the companionship which he already has in abundance. The girl... On the other hand, she can get all the dick she wants. That's easy for her. She doesn't have she doesn't even have to try. Because men are always looking for girls they can get easy sex out of without having to commit to a relationship. Any given female can be up to her eyeballs and cocks, and because of that, sex isn't really worth much to her. It's the commitment that she wants from the guy, not the sex, which of course she already has in abundance. There's a pervasive saying in the manosphere that states that women are the gatekeepers of sex and that men are the gatekeepers of relationships. Now, one could make the argument that young, beautiful females are the gatekeepers to both, albeit for short, a very short period of time. And Rolo is actually, Rolo Tomasi has actually made that argument before. But outside of the finite time when young, hot girls have the world in their hands, the gift of a man is commitment, okay? The fit, the gift of a female, is the sex. Why do we know this? Because neither values that which, this is a tongue twister, neither values that which they are the gatekeepers to as much as what the other sex is the gatekeeper to. We gentlemen, we are the gatekeepers of commitment because it's what women want the most from us. Women will move heaven and earth Women will move, they will, they will make bad decisions to secure a commitment from us, whether, ex, whether it's exclusivity, shared residence, marriage, etc. Not to say that we as men don't value commitment, but when we have a girlfriend, or at least a female companion, whether it's a sexual in nature or not, we don't really place much value on commitment as women do because it's what they want the most. Supply and demand, right? Even red pill guys, gentlemen, don't make a big deal out of commitment because every girl we bang for more than a week, she wants a relationship. We get it thrown at us like this all the time. We have an abundance of commitment and relationship and we can get it anytime we want. And this is, and, and again, this is with red pill guys, incels, and blue pill guys. Every one of us could have female companionship anytime we want. Now, obviously, blue pill guys and incels are going to have non-sexual commitment and red pill guys are going to make sure they're getting the pussy but the point is that we as men can get commitment and companionship whether sex is involved or not. Women are the gatekeepers to sex because it's what we want the most from them. Men will move heaven and earth. Again, this is the, the, we're mirroring one another here. Men will move heaven and earth and make bad decisions to have sex with a woman even one time. We see it all the time, guys. Not to say that women don't value sex, but when they can summon literally summon a bag of dicks to their exact location within minutes, sex isn't exactly as important to them as it is us because it's what we want the most from them. I use this example all the time to point out the, uh, 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 to point out the asymmetries of sexual attraction or they're, they're all around us. And this is one of just many examples. Now, another example is the recent phenomenon of incels. For those of you who are unfamiliar to the term incel, incel is short for involuntary celibate. It's defined as a man who wants to get, get laid, wants to have sex, but he cannot. Now, listen, their exploits have been well documented over the years. Guys like Elliot Roger, Alec Manassian, Nicholas Cruz, and so forth. So we're all, fil we're all familiar with who they are. But what most people have failed to realize is that incels and sluts are polar identicals. Now, what I mean by that 
is that they live very different existences, but their circumstances and their mindsets are a lot alike. Sluts and incels have much more in common with one, with one another than either is willing, willing to admit or realize. And that's what I'm going to talk about tonight. I'm going to give you guys four things that men who can't get sex and women who can get sex anytime they want have in common and how they are eerily similar to one another. And as a side note here, when I talk about incels, I'm not only referring to them. I'm also talking about your low-level MGTOWs who famously and pathetically pretend that they could get pussy if they wanted to, but have chosen not to pursue sexual relationships with women because the juice isn't worth the squeeze. A lot of guys like to call themselves monks. A lot, a lot of guys like this like to call themselves monks. Some of these guys actually refer to themselves as MGTOWs, and some guys combine the two together and call themselves MGTOW monks. But whatever they call themselves, we know the truth here at TSR Towers. All of these guys are involuntary celibates masquerading as MGTOWs. These guys aren't fooling anybody. My opening rant is brought to you by Good Vibes CBD Oil. Good Vibes will not only drastically reduce and almost eliminate your anxiety symptoms, you will also get some of the best sleep you've ever had. If you want to support the show and get your hands on the best and most effective CBD oil around, go to DonovanSharp.com and buy it through my affiliate link. Use promo code Donovan15 to get a 15% discount. Again, that is Donovan15. Donovan15 to get 15% off. The first time I ever used uh, CBD oil was when I went to a Flyers game with Devin. I, I remember toward the end of the game, I started to catch a migraine headache. Like my, it was migraine headaches. It's like your brain is being crushed. You're sensitive to light. You want to throw up, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, anyway, so I get home and I shot a text to Ed. I was like, yo, how much of this stuff am I supposed to take? He said, ah, you know, one droplet, right? Boom, one half droplet. Half an hour later, my migraine headache was completely gone. Slept like a baby that night. So actually the, the first bottle he sent me, I went through it in almost three weeks. So uh, CBD oil is the real deal. Good vibes. If you have a question or a comment about what incels and sluts have in common, give me a call. 914-205-5356. See in Vegas. I see you on the line. I'll get to you in just a second. If you have an unrelated question about girls, game, finance, fitness, or anything else that pertains to increasing your value and agency as a man, book a one-on-one -on -one consult on donovansharp.com forward slash consult. Speaking of which, speaking of which, today is the last day. Today is the last day to become a patron and get grandfathered in with the old, with the old consultation rate. I have raised my, 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 my consultation fees are going to increase as of three o'clock this morning, three o'clock a.m., on New Year's Day, Eastern Standard Time. So those of you out on the West Coast, you have until midnight. Those of us out here on the East Coast, you have a little more time. If you, come, if you become an $8 patron, you lock in that grandfathered rate, okay? Right now, I charge 100 bucks an hour for consultations. I don't charge $100 any, uh, as of 3 o'clock tomorrow morning. It's going to be sub substantially more than 100 bucks an hour. If you want to get in on that rate, become an $8 patron or become a $25 patron before 3 o'clock a.m. tomorrow morning, Eastern Standard Time. Today is the last day, guys. It is the last day. Follow, add, and like me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Just do a search for Donovan Sharp on all three platforms to get access to all of my content. Go to patreon.com forward slash Donovan Sharp. There you will find the entire archive of all complete episodes of TSR Live, both audio and video. So you can listen on the go or watch at your leisure. Now you can watch my show Monday through Thursday afternoons at 5 Eastern, but if you want to be able to rewatch or re-listen to the episodes in their entirety, less than 17 cents a day is all it takes. Gentlemen, we all know that I can be shut down and deplatformed at any time. Those of you guys who have followed me for any, who have been following me since the beginning of this year, at least, I've been at this almost three years. Since the beginning of this year, I lost two YouTube channels, lost a Facebook page, lost a Twitter account, and I wouldn't be surprised if I lost my Patreon at some point in the not-too-distant future. No one is immune, guys. Now, 
To be clear, none of that is going to stop me from doing what I do. This train is going to stay on the fucking tracks regardless. But it could stop you from getting access to my content. The only way to ensure 100% that you never miss out on my content is to subscribe to my email list. Go to DonovanSharp.com, scroll to the bottom of the page, plug in your email, and you're good to go. Literally takes 3.5 seconds. So if somebody snaps their fingers and I get banned everywhere, you will always know when and where to find me. If you like what you hear, if you like what you hear, if you get something out of my content and you want to contribute to the show, you can do that through my Streamlabs link. I'm putting it in the chat right now, www.streamlabs.com forward slash Donovan Sharp and the number one, that's www dot streamlabs.com forward slash Donovan Sharp and the number one. All right. I'm going to hit the chat. Then we'll go to the phone lines. Got C in Vegas on the line. It's always good to talk to him out there in the 702. JC pops the cherry. Javon Smiley gets the sloppy seconds. Rob Cruz gets the fucker in the ass. Infinite Peaks. Gets a finish on her face, and BK from the Rockies gets it all on video. Shout out to Darius Matthews. Good to see you in here. I don't think you've, I don't think I've seen you in here before. Outcast Drews, you look familiar. You look familiar. I I don't um I don't know that that name rings a bell. Hakus Ghost says uh, or Hayek's Ghost says I got an, I got the alert for once. Okay, okay. When I release the mobile app. Um, that's going to be right around the beginning of February. When I release the mobile app, when you download the mobile app, all you have to do is allow for push notifications from my mobile app. Anytime I go live, if there's something I'm doing, if there's an event I'm doing, if I'm live somewhere, you're going to get that notification. So you don't have to worry about that. Every once in a while, you know, I'll, you know, and I, I think the reason why a lot of people haven't been getting my notifications lately is because I'm probably shadow banned, which is fine. You know, it's, it's going to happen. But this is why, again, this is why I got to create my own sort of quasi platform to make sure that, um, to make sure that I can stay on the air. Siobhan Smiley says he's going to a mansion, a mansion party for New Year's Eve. Good stuff. JC's got a plate coming over after work. Javon Smiley says, I'm like the only black guy here. What? The fuck, dude? Javon, get out of here with that. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? All right. Javon Smiley says, I haven't seen one black person since I... Okay, I'm timing your ass out. That's not funny. Strikes one and two, man. Like, seriously. Enough of that nonsense. Fuck out of here. I haven't seen... Ugh, get out of here. Give me a break. BK from the Rock, he says, new intro, nice. Yep, got a few more... Got a few more improvements in store for you guys this evening. Lorenzo Davis, happy new year. Luigi Conti says, ready for this new knowledge. Good stuff. Good stuff. Kevin Ibanez, checking in from D.C., checking in from the district. Chase LeBeau, co-signing on the intro. Appreciate that. I worked very, very hard on that. But I'll be great. Good to see you in here. First timer. Luigi Conti says, thanks to the knowledge that Donovan gave me, I got a girl I'm going to New Year's Eve with. Good stuff. Hopefully you will fuck her. Got to close the deal. It's like, if you can't close the deal on New Year's Eve, man, you got some work to do. Kevin says, Don, I got the Eagles upsetting the Bears. We're going to talk about that later. I don't want to get sidetracked. I don't want to piss off my audience. I don't want to piss off my audience. I'm fucking, dude, I'm fucking psyched that the goddamn Eagles snuck into the playoffs. And I really want to talk about it, but I'm going to refrain. I'm going to restrain myself. Ricky Quaresma says, are you still taking Kratom? Yeah, yeah, I still take Kratom uh, just about every day. The Toxic Crusade says, I can't wait to see how you break this down, coach. Yeah, man, check this out. 
Ricky Quaresma says, are you an incel when you had sex before? No, no, no. Just because you lost your virginity at 16 years old doesn't mean you're not an incel if you haven't fucked anybody since. Good, good stuff. Lion Sin said, is the show on? Oh, God. Lion Sin, dude, you smell of troll. Never seen you in here. You come in here asking if the show is on when the show is clearly on. You are on thin ice. Straight up. Oh, Outcast Drew says he's called into the show before. My bad, dude. My bad. He's like, Nick, you don't remember me? Get the fuck out of here. Charles Caballero is going to a party with a plate tonight. Very nice. J Mart says, block him. Damn, James. Hold on now. <laughs> James Martinez coming up in here with that 404 Bankhead Justice. Oh, James says, when you talk about the Eagles, I'm gone. Go Falcons. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> this is great, man. We're, we're going to talk about the Eagles much, much later. We're not going to talk about the Eagles until the end. I, I want to give the people, I want to give the people what they came for. 914-205-5356 is the number to call. Let's go to C in Vegas. C, do you read me? D, what's going on? How was your Christmas? Dude, listen, man. Christmas was off the charts. Um, Devin and I spent Excellent. a lot more money than we should have, but everything is still on track. We, we didn't spend ourselves into oblivion. We still plan on – we actually plan on um, – uh, taking a trip to, uh, if we have time, taking a trip to Lake Tahoe. If, I can, if, if she can get some time off and if I can take some time off, we'll be good to go. How about you, man? It was very good. I saw my dad, by the way. Um, you know, I saw my I saw my family. It was very nice. Good. Uh, good. You know, my dad's kind of old school masculine, so it's always good to be around that energy. You know, you know what I'm saying? I saw, right. I saw my little brothers and stuff. It was very nice. Good. Very nice. Good. Good stuff, got man. three things for you. I got three. I got three things for you, D. I'm Let's sorry if I'm derailing the conversation. No, no, go ahead. You I'm got gonna it. Bring it. I'm going to bring it up. Yo, fuck the Cowboys. I am so heated about that game, bro. I am so fucking heated about that fucking oh, game. Oh, wow. Dude. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm yeah. going to say it right now. Oh, and for all the Cowboys fans in the chat, I said it. But, you know, it was a good game. It was Listen, a good it was game. a good um, game. Listen, y'all. it was a good game, and the Cowboys got you a better draft pick. Like, if you want to look on the bright side, you guys can move up a little further to get Dwayne Haskins. Absolutely. Absolutely. I was going to say too. Uh, I was, was going to say this too. Um, it was funny because I actually predicted a shootout between them because I, I didn't think Dallas's defense was going to show out, and that's crazy. Kind of what happened. Damn that's it. one of those games where whoever has so, the ball know, last wins. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. And also, D, I, I can tell because I knew we were up, right? But I knew this game is not fucking over. I just know it. You, you know <laughs> the energy's like, yo, this game's not fucking over. Hell yeah. And the second thing. Yeah, that was a really good game. Also, you know, some congratulations to the Eagles, by the way. Appreciate also, it. I wanted, yes, yes. Yeah, I said that a little too enthusiastically, but yes, second, yes. Second <laughs> thing, D, I got a book rec- I got a book recommendation. Okay. The Laws of Human Nature by The Laws of New- Human Nature by Robert Greene. Excellent. It's very good. I, I suggest you pick it up too, D, because you'll you'll derive a whole bunch of shit from it. Okay. Excellent. I, I can't go in depth with it. You okay. Know, All right. I'm gonna check it out. It's the same guy who wrote the. Yeah, yeah 48 laws of power. 48 laws of human. Of human. Yes, yes, power, exactly. Power, power. Indeed. Now, and now back on topic real quick, because actually I got a question for you, because you, you said, you know, um, women don't value sex the same as men. I want, I don't want to say push back, because this might be an outlier situation. Okay. But I've encountered this, I have encountered this many times, where, you know, you might, you know, you might have a one-night stand, or you might just, you know, fuck a female so good, she just goes nuts, and she right. keeps needing it. Right. And she values this. I've had that happen to me plenty of times. Now, it's an outlier situation. Fair enough. We don't. We don't. We don't. Uh, you know, base game on that. But we'll, we'll no. But that. listen, oh, you oh, make a good oh, point. Oh, what are your thoughts on that? No, no. Listen, you're. Listen, you're right. I will concede. I will concede that point. We know that all sex is not created equal. And the fact of the matter is, is that good sex. Listen, women have an abundance of sexual options, but when it comes to good sex, not many guys. And, you know, listen, what's good sex to one woman could be bad sex to another, right? And then, of course, you know, women women have their preferences. But if women get what she knows to be good dick, yeah, that does become a commodity. That is something that they will move heaven and earth for. So I will definitely, yeah, I will, that caveat out. Also, I will say this, D. I will, I will say this, though, D. You know what I'm saying? To your point, though, because, because, because I'm, you know, you conceded that. But I will, I will, to your point, though, D, I will say this. Beta sex is worthless. They can get yes. it any time. They know this. Yep. 100%. So I could, so we were kind of, oh, so one more thing, D, one last thing before I jump. All right. It's so funny because I, I listened, 
I listened to the uh, I listened to the uh, with you and a little a little, little man, uh, the latest one. I yeah. And you said you liked Final Fantasy Tactics. Oh yeah. You like Final Fantasy Tactics. Oh yeah. That was my favorite Final Fantasy game. I swear no to God, shit. Like, and also, <laughs> D, just swear to God. Also, also, D, if you remember, by the way, that game probably had the most kind of adult story out yes. of all the Final Fantasy Tactics. Yes. It was about politics, yes. church, yes. And stuff like that, betrayal, you know, um, all it, that it, stuff. It's a matter. Of, it's a matter of fact. Yeah, I just think like you know that game has one of the most probably the, the best story. I remember playing that when I was like eleven or twelve. I'm like, Yo, what the fuck is going on in this story? I was in college, man. I was in college. And listen, no one still knows the pronunciation of Rams's last name. Like, is it Bailave? Is it Bayulve? I mean, like, how is it pronounced? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But like, I you try this, to pronounce it, will, nobody can pronounce it. I will say this though, V. The, the um, apparently. It, it, it's loosely based off of France, so I guess you'll go with the French because uh, okay. I, I, I think the creator or the series of the series uh, creator said, "Hey, it's based off of France." Eva Lise was based off of France, ah, kind of French yes. talk, right? Stuff. Absolutely, okay, okay. Yes, and the Globados uh, Church, right, I, what they called the yeah, Globados yeah. Church, was have, short for the Catholic Church. So, yeah, yeah. Listen, good, uh, yes, good one. Yes, yes. And also, Pete, by the way. Tonight, I, I, you know, I, I wish I can get some honey, but I gotta make this money. You hey, that's what's up. Las Vegas. Chase the crown, not the cooch. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All right, see, Absolutely. listen, have a good New Year, you. man. You're Stay safe you. out there in Vegas. Listen, you listen, you, listen. Brother. You know how crazy it can get out there on the strip, man. Take care of yourself, dude. New Year's Day, shoot. Oh my God, that's some of the wildest shit, dude. People fucking out in the streets and shit. Think I'm playing? Think I'm playing? Javon Smiley. I get a big, I, I owe Javon uh, a big time, my bad. He was actually talking about out there in Phoenix. He said he was the only black guy there. And I was like, wait a minute, what the fuck are you talking about? No, he's in Phoenix, uh, I guess, for a bowl game. And so that's what he was talking about. Um, so, yeah, I do have a, I do have a, uh, I've got a hair trigger, but that's how it goes. So my bad, my bad. Javon Smiley. The Laws of Human Nature by Robert Greene. I, I think I'm definitely going to check that out. Okay. Let's get this started. Four things that incels have in common with sluts. Number one, they are never accountable for their actions or circumstances. Other than the fact that they can't get laid, complaining is one of the most obvious telltale signs of an incel. Incels are always complaining about how difficult girls are, how bitch they are. Incels like to bitch and moan about the impossibly high standards of today's women and so on and so forth. Now that complaining gives them an excuse to check out of the dating market. When people ask incels why they haven't had a girlfriend or at least a short-term fling with a female, they can fall back on these shitty excuses. Ah, bitches are so fucking rude. They're difficult, and they, want, and they don't want anything but hot, rich guys. This is why I always push back on guys who say shit like, money and looks is all you need because it's fucking lazy, and it's a defeatist attitude. Yes, money and looks helps to get you in the door, but game is what keeps her around. Rich guys and hot guys get cheated on just like everybody else, guys, and incels use this as an excuse to play video games, jerk off to cartoon porn, and eat Cheetos all day long rather than go out and kick life's ass. Incels blame everyone but themselves for what they are. Girls only want hot, rich guys. I, was, I wasn't born with great looks. I'm short. I'm not six foot nine. I'm five nine. I don't have great looks. Or my favorite, I've tried everything and nothing works. But what they are not telling you what they are not telling themselves is that the only reason they're not successful with women is because they are either unable or unwilling to do what's necessary to be attractive to attractive women. They're not, they're not lifting weights. They're not eating clean. They're not saving money. And they're not driven or motivated. Now, a lot of MGTOW, low-level MGTOW guys might say, well, I don't do anything to impress women. Fuck that. And to that, I would say, you're full of shit. You don't do anything to impress women now. But before, back then, your life was all about women. And when they didn't reciprocate your interest, you decided to base your current lifestyle around women. 
you didn't decide to become a MGTOW or a MGTOW monk because you woke up one day and you decided you wanted to live a life completely devoid of female companionship. Nah, uh-uh. You did it because women don't want you. You guys call men like us pussy beggars, vagina worshipers, but you are the ones who are making daily decisions based solely on what women are or aren't doing. Let's look at sluts. Let's look at sluts. It is well documented that sluts never take responsibility for their actions or circumstances. I'm a single mom because my baby daddies ain't shit. No, you're a single mother because you have unprotected sex with random men. I cheated on my boyfriend because he wasn't attentive to my needs. No, you cheated because Kevin in the sales department told you that you were soulmates and your dumb ass believed him. Guys don't want to be with me because I'm just too strong for them. No, guys don't want to be with you because you have a tramp stamp, a lip ring, and he found out you're still on Tinder where he met you. My man doesn't trust me because he's insecure. No, your man doesn't trust you because you still text your ex. You're still at the club every Saturday night. And half the time he calls, it goes straight to voicemail. All women are blame shifters, guys. But sluts are experts at it. Other than a bad mom, the worst thing you can call a woman is a slut. Girls know that being a slut is easy. That's why they do their level best to make sure that people don't know that they're fucking dudes by the dozen. Sluts in their 30s and 40s blame anything and everything for the reason they're still single. Men ain't shit. Men are intimidated by my intelligence. Men are insecure. Men can't handle a strong woman. Men need to man up and date single moms. The list goes on. Any woman over the age of 25 who isn't married has only herself to blame. Fuck enough dudes, and at some point, you're not going to be good for anything but fucking. And that's all there is to it. They can blame whoever or wherever they want. But women like this know the score. Sluts and incels are where they are because of their decisions. But they are both hell-bent on trying to convince everyone that it's not their fault, that they get no pussy or far too much dick. Refresh this here. My feed is going all fucked up. There we are. Some production issues there. Get that good to go. Again, if you want to contribute to the show, streamlabs.com forward slash Donovan Sharp and the number one. Again, streamlabs.com forward slash Donovan Sharp and the number one. Again, guys. Every little bit counts, guys. We we greatly appreciate it here at the Towers. If you are watching on Facebook, Twitter, or one of my backup YouTube channels, come on over to my main channel to watch the rest of the show. Search for Donovan Sharp on YouTube, and the first channel you see with my face as the logo is the channel you should come and subscribe to. Again, if you're watching on Facebook, Twitter, or one of my backup YouTube channels, come to my main YouTube channel and watch the rest of this episode. Thank you guys for tuning in, and we will see you here at TSR headquarters. To watch or listen to the rest of this episode, go to DonovanSharp.com. Thanks for watching.